Well, what we've done here is we've tried to find a way of stopping having to store all vaccines in the fridge from the time that they're made to the time that we give them to people who were vaccinating. So the trick really in stabilizing these vaccines was to add a sugar that allows the vaccine to become coated onto a membrane in a form where it's stable. Here is the type of membrane where we would dry the vaccine and place it into this unit. And uh, the unit would then be added to a syringe with a conventional needle. And now when, when we fill this syringe with liquid and inject it into the individual, as the liquid passes over the membrane, it will instantaneously dissolve the vaccine, which will then be injected. And we actually envisage this, making this as a single unit um, for shipping and delivery. We've found that they are stable at 45 degrees for about six months, and at 37 degrees for about a year, and at room temperature and refrigerated temperature is probably much longer than that. And this is really substantially better than any current formulation of a vaccine, um, all of which have to be stored in the fridge, and even then are only stable for two years in the fridge. Well, it's extremely important that we simplify vaccination and make it less expensive. There are over 100 million children born every year. All of those need to be vaccinated, and some of them li live in pretty inaccessible places in remote parts of developing countries. So if we can reduce the complexity of the vaccine supply by taking away the need to refrigerate vaccines, that not only will mean that we can do this less expensively, it means that more children will be vaccinated.